less involved contracts. Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. This is your finance reading Pisces for the collective Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, wherever Pisces may fall in your chart. Especially in your career and finance <clears throat> sector, of course. As we get started with the reading, I shuffled out the icebreaker, so we are going to get to that. I thank all of you who are joining us today. Appreciate all of your continued support. As stated, as usual, in the description box, a lot of information about me. A link to our Patreon membership platform if you are interested in the extended to these videos. Also, there are going to be some changes on the platform. The Etsy store is still open, but to take advantage of the Black Friday sale and all of the $5 specials, be sure to check the community board where all of the flyers are listed to follow those instructions. Also, we are having a Super Moon live reading that also includes free Super Chat. So I will be pulling cards, answering questions live. If you're interested in getting a link to that private video, Check your community board. Put a flyer up about that tonight. I'm also doing the um, the Mayan astrology readings if you're interested in those. So I'm just kind of running it down for those of you who aren't subscribers. Many specials, a lot of Black Friday uh, sales products, coupon codes. Just check the uh, community board, okay? Because everything may not be in the description box. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the reading. If you're interested in the extended, of course, like I said... We have the membership section on YouTube. We also have the Patreon platform where this extended will be located. So we're going to talk about your money. I am going to do a Celtic spread. These cards came out in the... I try to avoid that glare. These cards came out in the pre-shuffle. So if you noticed from the thumbnail when I said um, I owe you one on this side and then on the other side, it was kind of like, well, pay me then. There's an energy of... Either something coming to you that you deserve, something that somebody owed you, okay? Others of you, because I like to take your side, it could also be, you know, someone else feel like you may owe them something. Maybe you coming into a little change or something like that, and whoever helped you in the past could, you know, be asking, you know, well, where mine, you know, or something like that. Or you, vice versa, like I said. Uh, but the cards that came out, the first one that came out, it says release resentments about money. So first and foremost, for anyone to have any resentments, somebody got some money somewhere. Okay, whether it's coming to you or being asked of you, we will discover in the spread. But this is an oracle card that came out. Could be just for advice to release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting. But holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support um, for golden opportunities. Okay, so we have that one, and I'm using the Angel of Abundance deck. And what I get from release resentments about money, like I said, is a hostile kind of energy. The first thing I saw was the Queen of Cups kind of pouring her cup out, how she's usually the giver, the philanthropist, the healer. The, you know, the one who gives uh, relentlessly without asking for much back in return. And something about maybe that not coming back to her that or him, you know, that's kind of upsetting, which is that shadow aspect of the Queen of Cups when she is, you know, kind of bitter, kind of resentful, uh, wanting apologies. You didn't say thank you and stuff like that. So if not you, could be someone in your environment and why I feel that it's so fitting toward the Queen of Cups is because the next card that came out talked about tithing, donations, and charitable work. So I thought about the King or the Queen of Cups that did come up in the Daily Vibe. We had the King of Cups with the Emperor. So, you know, that's just an energy of your stability and your consciousness and anything in the subconscious that causes, um, you know, abundance to, to repel you. Right, or you repel, you know, like some bug repellent, and maybe you got some money repellent, okay? Or people gonna be coming to you <laughs> attracted like flies to your money. Now, the third card that came out, we have no more complaining, so more energy that it's it was like so synchronistic, more energy of not worrying about the three cups that spilled and kind of focusing on the two cups that sit upright. 
to not complain um, about, you know, let's say this. Because I have business courses and a lot of you guys are starting businesses and wanting to advance in business. And so I think it was Puff Daddy or somebody successful who said the first year is hard and how he put more of his money into uh, the business starting off than what he got out of it. So again, this reading could resonate in a sense of give and take, receptivity, what's being put out, what's coming back. You know, whether that's you and another person, how you feel toward a company, whatever the case may be. But the complaining part is like, I'm not doing no complaining. Um, it's either you're going to give it to me or I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to keep asking. I don't expect help. I don't need the support. Um, also, when I got donations, tithing and charitable work for anyone who has resentments about money and you're trying to move ahead in your finances, it's kind of like, yeah. You know, I understand you're a healer and a helper. I do get that you want to save the world and that philanthropy may be awesome. But keep in mind that most philanthropists are rich where you have more than enough to give. It doesn't say that, you know, you have to be suff suffering in your circumstances and still kind of like a nonprofit organization in an inner city where they're struggling too. But then trying to help others, that is admirable. But that's also a, a conscious that a conscious decision that could be weighed on the king or the queen of cups. And they also have help for that. So if you are considering nonprofits or if you don't have the best relationship with money or have some, you know, some sticky stuff in the subconscious about money, it may be time to revisit those beliefs. And then, like I said, nothing wrong with giving at all, nothing wrong with giving back. But they have grants. They have so many opportunities to help you help others where you're not going to build blocks and frustrations with I've taken all that I've had to help and then look at where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like that energy for others of you. It's kind of like do the work, even, you know, if it isn't paying off immediately to keep striving, keep going. And if you are having any resistance in your abundance, it could be about the resentment, the anger where I should be further off or we'll see. So as we get into the reading. I'm going to shuffle them up now um, in the pick a card and for the clarifiers. I do have my Kipper deck here, so we will be using some of those, but I'm going to try to stick with the, well, these aren't traditional tarot. I'm going to use the wild unknown to start with to see what it is we're talking about. All right. Releasing those resentments. First card, we have the queen of pentacles. So as stated, this is an organization. This is you becoming more organized. This could be a home-based business, or it could just be something that you're trying to put together with your finances because the mother of pentacles is that one that, you know, constructs and orchestrates and puts it together and figures it out and, you know, the bills and when they're due and how much I have and allocating, you know, so getting the finances in order for some of you. I do see a shift because the two of pentacles could represent financial embarrassment where the nine of pentacles represents some type of pay raise. And then there's this energy of aha, right? So a new idea possibly even coming to you or where it talks about your awareness. So something that I may even make you aware of regarding your finances, okay? If there are going to be any challenges between you and others, between you and your finances, here is the six of pentacles. So isn't this that philanthropy card? Isn't this the help, the handout, the awareness? Now, for some of you, this queen of pentacles could be coming from an organization, king or queen. You know, I try not to put a person, okay? A person who's over the distribution of funds, the allocation of funds um, could be helping you. Or it could be you in a codependent kind of energy in needing help. And then that's where the resentment comes from, okay? I try not to get too personal with y'all, but I like to give examples where, you know, growing up, I can't lie and say I didn't have some resentments toward my parents because it was like, I feel like y'all should have gave me more. Or every time that I'm in a pickle, somebody should help me, you know? You had me. Or I helped you before. So it, it's kind of like energy of that nature for some of you guys, okay? 
It also says to stay grounded and practical, which is good. A lot of you are because this is your energy and it's coming up. So in your groundedness, in the practicalities, in you getting organized and paying the rent and paying, you know, for your businesses, it talks about balancing the books out to make sure you're aware of anything that could come up. The tower was in the daily vibe, so it could be something unexpected or it could be something that you've been planning for. Okay. In the environment, we have the Ten of Wands. So a lot of you have done the work. Packing up, moving on. Some of you guys could be moving. Or it's kind of like this energy of you're working harder than what you may be receiving back. So that's the thing. We have the Empress here where it talks about abundance. It talks about your expectations. So I can't lie and say that there are some people here expecting a lot in return that may not be putting out a lot of work. That could be someone else in your environment or it could be you. Now, for others of you, you could be weighed down uh, by finances or the ideas or the things that you want to put together. And it's kind of like you feel you may have beat a dead horse. So this is kind of like a change where you have these two tens, right, which talks about a, a completion with a new beginning. And I feel the energy that you're coming into is you're going to have a little bit more. So anyone coming back from your past or anything coming back from your past is an outdated belief or is a friendship or an offer that I feel like doesn't have anything to do with this particular energy. So just be mindful of that, okay? Now, crowning your thoughts. I knew it was coming. Here we have it. The emperor, the mother of cups, subconsciously and how you feel about finances. So I do like that. I feel that for some of you, your subconscious is in the control of how you're manifesting your money, which is why any limited beliefs that you have, any resentment that you have, any answers that you need, any apologies that you that you may want um, to get out of the emotions, to not spread yourself too thin. Uh, to not worry about the backstabbing, the betrayal, and the deception. I've worked really hard for this, and I don't see it coming back to me. And the Queen of Cups would definitely not sleep well at night uh, with that kind of energy in the back of his or her mind. So just be mindful of that. Something new is coming, okay? I feel like a lot of you may have, I don't want to say struggled, but there's something you may have struggled with regarding your finances, Okay. Because the father of wands is an independent energy, is a self-motivated entrepreneurial energy, but it's also this every man for itself, like savage kind of energy. And I feel like this help that may be coming to you, maybe regarding your home, maybe regarding an offer, a contract, or some sort of new beginning with the seven pentacles, that's my things are aligning for you. And for others, it could talk about a waiting period or process. So some of you guys could be getting information about some funds that you've been waiting on. Here we have the six of wands, which talks about a reward. So anytime you have giving and a reward, I feel like something good is coming your way and it may have something to do with past efforts. Now in the environment, we have the son of wands which talks about temporary situations the ten of wands packing up moving on the son of wands temporary situations maybe you guys are wanting more stability and maybe you're wanting more money to pay for that stability which is a good thing and something that you may have thought was over could be you know done differently or a new idea behind it uh, the Ten of Swords with this ending and a new beginning, and then the Ace of Swords with this new way of thinking. It's like no longer beating the dead horse, setting healthy boundaries, having clarity. If this is the magician, because the magician came up in your daily vibe, I'm using practicality. I'm using my intelligence. Temporary situations, not overworking myself. Um, this Son of Wands could also be that energy of your fears or someone in your environment that may be asking for help but may have betrayed you or been deceptive in the past. And then outcome, we have the father of pentacles, which is like, I'm not giving you a thing because the son of cups either talks about an offer coming toward you from someone who wants to help, or this is someone that may be a little bit shady in their dealings. And you, you know it, you already know it off top because the father of pentacles is an energy of wisdom. 
Okay, so using your wisdom, and this is definitely a head over heart matter because something has happened before, so you know you have to do something different. And we're going to talk about what that difference is, guys. So if this is where we leave off, definitely appreciate you tuning in. If you're going to join us on the other side, I'll see you there. Until next time, namaste.